So let's look at an 80s classic today. Let's look at uh, Giorgio. Um, this is the box. This is your bottle. Now, Giorgio. Giorgio is vivacious, serene as some names, decorated with yellow stripes of joy, presented in 1981. It was created by Bob Alano, who gave the hop notes of orange, blossom, peach, apricot, and trails of sweet and fresh bergamot. The middle notes bring Lang Lang, Seductive Tuberose, Gardenia, Jasmine, Rose, Orchid, Amber, Cedar, Oak Moss, and Musk. In the 80s, this perfume used to represent the symbol of luxury. Memorable and long-lasting as it was often banned from restaurants due to its intensity. <laughs> Giorgio was created by M.L. Quincy Francis something and Henry Cutiel Cule uh, I'm bad at French. Um, so this has been reformulated though. It's now produced by Elizabeth Arden. Since Giorgio Beverly Hills does not make their sense anymore. Um, I must say it's very strong at first. I definitely get the bergamot and I get a lot of peach. Uh, then a while after I get the flower, the florals, the white florals, the tuberose, all the jasmine, stuff like that. Then towards the end I start to get um, the woody notes. Now this is not as strong as it once used to be, which is a shame. Um, it's obviously, it's been bought up by Elizabeth Arden, so it's been uh, reformulated. Um, you know, I sprayed it on earlier and I only got about five hours from it, so that's kind of disappointing. Um, now this is definitely a female fragrance. Um, it's not very masculine at all, but I'm willing to try anything. Um, so for ladies, I think this one will work pretty well if you like, uh, sweet, florally, um, fruity type of stuff. Um, then you have your wood dry down at the end. Uh, I don't know, I'm kind of disappointed. I was expecting to be, you know, a powerhouse and it really isn't anymore, so, I don't know, this is kind of disappointing for me. Uh, the men's reformulated version is actually better than this one, so, um, if you're gonna get a Giorgio, I'd get the men's version. Oh uh, yeah, I don't know, it's a disappointment, but, maybe I'll find a vintage sometime and see how that does, but, eh, it's not really good for a guy anyway, so, I don't think I'll bother. Uh, this one might go up on eBay. So, yeah, not too good. Kind of disappointing. Uh, so there you go. Uh, sorry to not be any help, but I gotta be honest. Alright, thanks. Bye.